You know, really, it's it seems like it's such a big mystery, and it really shouldn't be because we're all in the same industry. Yet many ranchers are hesitant to start a relationship with a cattle feeder. Lack of knowledge creates fear. And so what we ask people to do, especially, is to give us a call. We'll line them up with the feedlot operator. They're very good about visiting with producers and talking about options for a shared partnership or full ownership of the cattle. They will finance cattle. Uh, they will uh, finance feed and interest on those cattle while they're on feed. And it's in their best interest, actually, the feedlot, to help that customer be happy with their experience because in today's industry where we're short on cattle and long on pen space, feedlots are especially aggressive in wanting uh, uh, cow-calf producers to market their cattle through their feedlot. Many are also interested in helping cattlemen improve their herds. Our philosophy has been that, that information will help everybody. If we would share that carcass data back with them, they're the guys that ultimately have to make the genetic decisions about, you know, what bulls to turn on what cows. And if we can't share that information, then they're not gonna get better. It's just gonna be, improvements will be much more random than they are. Latta says data sharing also helps producers see what money they're leaving on the table by selling outright instead of retaining ownership. Many feedlots offer several options when it comes to cattle ownership. We have a lot of licensed feedlots that will partner with the cattle. Uh, for instance, if you want to deliver your cattle on a certain date after weaning and after a, you know, perhaps a, a, a preconditioned program, if you want to deliver those, the feedlot will give you half the value of those cattle up front so you can take care of any uh, farm loans, cattle loans, any other loans that you might have at the bank and help service that debt. And then when the cattle come out, you'll pay half of the feed bill and receive half of the proceeds. So that's a good way to break into it. And there are feedlots that will finance on other arrangements, 25, 75, or one third, two thirds, really whatever you want to do. The relationships that work out the best are the ones that are win-win for the rancher and the feeder, Latta says. You're trying to find cattle that'll generate some premium uh, on the carcass side and back to the rancher too. If, if, we're, if we don't have those premiums to go pursue, we're all relegated to a commodity type business. And in a commodity type business, then it becomes who can do it the cheapest, you know? So, so we're, we're interested in finding those cattle that can generate premiums and, and generate value uh, from the rancher clear through retail. Cindy Campbell reporting.